Shalom, I'm Messianic Rabbi Zef Porat, and welcome to Biblical Hebrew Foundation. In Genesis chapter 5, we find a list of names from Adam to Noah. And when we read these names in Hebrew, we can see that it's a Messianic prophecy about Jesus, Yeshua, God. In chapter 5, verses 1 to verse 32, we find the list of names in this order. Adam, Seth, Enosh, Canaan, Mehalel, Jared, Enoch, Methuselah, Lemech, and Noah. When we examine these list of names from a biblical Hebrew foundation, we discover a fascinating messianic prophecy. Adam means a man. The literal word for Seth is the word substituted. Enosh is usually rendered as a man or the human race, or it can also mean people in a plural function. The root word for Enosh is very sick or incurable. So in Hebrew, it says incurable man or a very sick human race would be the meaning. So far with Adam, Seth, and Enosh, we have a man substituted incurable man. Does this fit Yeshua, Jesus? Let's examine the word of God. Here are some scriptures. Yeshua substituting incurable man. Isaiah chapter 53, verse 5. But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. Upon him was the chastisement that brought us peace. And by his wounds we are healed. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 21. For our sake he made him to be sin, who knew no sin, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 24. He himself bore our sins in his body on the tree, that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. By his wounds you have been healed. Our Messiah substituted his perfect self for our sin. We were incurable and very sick, and through him we are healed. Now we look at the word for kenen and mehelalel. It can mean possessing or possession. The root word in Hebrew means to erect. Mehalel means praise of God or shining light is the root word. When he healed us, he possessed the praise of God because he is God. Yeshua, Jesus said, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. I and the Father are one. He also did come to erect a shining light. John chapter 8 verse 12. Again, Jesus, Yeshua, spoke to them and said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. We know that Yeshua, Jesus, is the Word made flesh. John chapter 1, verse 14, And the Word became flesh and tabernacled among us, and the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. Yeshua is the Word. Yeshua is God. Yeshua is the light. Tehillim Psalms, chapter 119, verse 5. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. So both possessing the praise of God and to erect a shining light are both correct according to the Hebrew biblical foundation meaning, containing a dual meaning in this context. He came to teach us the word of God. He is the light. We know that the Torah, which is God's instruction, is also called the light. Proverbs chapter 6 verse 23. For the commandment is a lamp, and the law in Hebrew, the Torah, is a light. Reproofs of instruction are the way of life. In Proverbs chapter 6, verse 23, we see that the law of the Torah is light and life, and it parallels with what Yeshua said about himself. In John chapter 8, verse 12, again, Yeshua, Jesus, spoke to them, saying, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. What was Yeshua quoting from? Was there a New Testament? No, he was quoting from the Old Testament, because everything in the Old Testament is a shadow of the New. He was quoting from Proverbs chapter 6, verse 23. Now let's have a look at the next two names. Jared and Enoch. Jared means descent, but it comes from the root word to come down. Enoch means dedicate or to dedicate. And the root word comes from to teach. So what it's really saying when we look at Jared and Enoch, it's saying coming down to teach. 
So here's what we have so far. A man substituted incurable man and erected a shining light by coming down to teach. The next name in Genesis chapter 5 is Methuselah. Methuselah in Hebrew means a man of the dart, a shoot of growth, or a branch. Isaiah chapter 11 verse 1. There shall come forth a shoot from the stump of Jesse, and a branch from his roots shall bear fruit. Isaiah chapter 53 verse 2. For he grew up before him like a young plant, and like a root out of dry ground. He had no form or majesty that we should look at him, and no beauty that we should desire him. Yirmiyahu, Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 5. Behold, the days are coming, declares the Lord, when I will raise up for David a righteous branch, and he shall reign as king and deal wisely, and shall execute justice and righteousness in the land. Jeremiah chapter 33, verse 15. In those days and at that time, I will cause a righteous branch to spring up from David, and he shall execute justice and righteousness in the land. Zechariah chapter 3, verse 8. Hear now, O Joshua the high priest, you and your friends who sit before you, for they are men who are a sign. Behold, I will bring my servant, the branch. Zechariah chapter 6, verse 12. And say to him, Thus says the Lord of hosts, Behold, the man whose name is the branch, for he shall branch out from his place, and he shall build the temple of the Lord. Yeshua, Jesus, is the branch. That brings us to the last two names, Lamech and Noah. In Hebrew, Lamech means powerful. It can also mean in Hebrew, mighty youth. Noah means to rest from the root word in Hebrew, Lanuach. When this list of names is properly defined according to the biblical Hebrew foundation, the following sentence can be articulated as a messianic prophecy. For Messiah Yeshua, Jesus, God, a man substituted incurable man and erected the shining light of God by coming down to teach. He is the branch, bringing mighty youthful rest. It also can mean in Hebrew, Methuselah, his death shall bring judgment, in which case the prophecy can be read as following. A man substituted incurable man and erected the shining light of God by coming down to teach. His death shall bring judgment and mighty rest. We know that only Yeshua, Jesus, can give us rest. Matthew chapter 11, verse 28. Come to me, all you who are worried and burdened, and I will give you rest. When we read these names in Hebrew in context and understand what God is saying to us, it comes to life. Until next time, I'm Messianic Rabbi Zev Porat, sending you blessings from Jerusalem, Israel, in the mighty name of Al Yeh Yehuda, the Lion of the tribe of Judah, Jesus Yeshua. Amen.